Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Interesting People You've Never Heard Of. Today's interesting person is Olga Hepnerova, the truck killer of Prague. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to Prague before. If you haven't, I highly recommend a visit. If you have been to Prague before, then you'll know what a truly beautiful city it is. Most travellers would rank Prague alongside Paris or Florence for the ornate beauty of its ancient architecture and the many grand bridges that span the lovely Vltava River. Strossmeyer Square is located in a particularly scenic part of Prague's old town. On the 10th of July 1973, on a cloudless summer day, as the street was bustling with workers and shoppers, a large truck began to roll down the steep hill that led towards the main square. As the truck rolled downhill, it began to pick up speed. Cars slammed on their brakes to avoid it. Pedestrians and cyclists jumped out of the way. As the truck gathered speed, people waved their arms and shouted at the driver to stop, but the driver seemed unable to hear them. At the bottom of the hill, there was a tram stop where dozens of people were stood waiting for the next tram. The runaway truck, by now reaching a speed of around 40 miles an hour, ploughed into the crowd of people, sending human beings flying like bowling pins around the busy square. Eight people in total were killed. As the truck finally ground to a halt, a group of bystanders, assuming the truck had experienced some sort of mechanical fault, ran to assist the driver. <clears throat> the driver, a young woman with dark hair and striking features, was helped out of the vehicle. People began to ask if she was okay. Was she injured? To the shock and horror of the witnesses, she replied that her actions had been deliberate. She had intended to drive her truck into a crowd of people and kill as many as possible. The police soon arrived and Olga Hepnerova was arrested. The investigation revealed a disturbed yet vulnerable individual. At the time of the crime, Olga was only 22 years old. Olga Hepnerova was born in Prague in 1951 to a middle-class family. Prague at the time was part of communist Czechoslovakia, one of the many Eastern Bloc countries that fell within the orbit of the mighty Soviet Union. Her father was a bank clerk and her mother was a dentist. Early in life, though, she developed psychiatric problems. Uh, she was a withdrawn loner and found it difficult to relate to the other children in school. She was frequently bullied. Some modern commentators have suggested that she may have had a form of Asperger's. In her mid-teens, she spent time in a psychiatric hospital. Doctors identified symptoms of apathy, insubordination, negativity, detachment, vomiting and even nicotine addiction, but were, the doctors were unable to make a formal diagnosis of her actual mental illness. Shortly after her release, she tried to overdose on medication which prompted her mother to give the rather callous response, if you're going to commit suicide, you need a stronger will than that. After leaving school, Olga drifted unsuccessfully through a series of jobs. Not long after starting a new job, she would usually end up being fired due to her mental health issues and difficult personality. Because Czechoslovakia was a nominally socialist country, all citizens were supposed to be provided with jobs so when Olga was dismissed from one job, the government would just move her on to another job. After spells working as a cleaner and a bookbinder, Olga finally found work as a truck driver, which, to her relief, allowed her to be away from people, at least for now. Her personal life was even more turbulent. She had relationships with both men and women, but rather like her brief spells of employment, they didn't last long. She was continually rejected and even once beaten up on the streets just for being different. Olga, be uh, Olga began to develop a deep and abiding hatred of humanity. She wrote in a letter to a psychiatrist, I hate people. 
It's better for me when I'm alone than when I'm with them. Everyone falls for their smiles and fellowship. They mutilated my soul. At one point, she committed arson on a farmhouse owned by her father, but the fire was quickly extinguished and did little damage. Her father blamed local youths and she evaded detection. As Olga's mental health declined further, she began to contemplate ending her own life, but something within her made her undergo a change of heart. She decided she didn't want to become just another anonymous suicide. She wanted to take revenge on the, si on the society that had made her feel like an outcast. She originally planned a shooting spree, but she was afraid the police would kill her before the massacre really got underway. She also toyed with the idea of a bomb, but came to the conclusion that building a bomb would require technical expertise which she did not possess. Then one day, while driving her trabby car, a nefarious idea occurred to her. She would use a vehicle to perpetrate her massacre. The vehicle would need to be large for maximum impact, something like a truck. So, on the 10th of July, 1973, Olga hired a Praga RN truck, which was a type of freight wagon produced in Czechoslovakia at the time. She originally considered the famous Wenceslas Square as the site for her moment of retribution, but changed her mind because of traffic. Instead, she drove to Strossmeyer Square. On her first lap, she veered close to the tram stop, but changed her mind at the last minute. Not because of any conscience, but because there were not enough people. She wanted more victims. So she drove around for a while until the tram stop grew busier. Then, when she saw a sufficiently large crowd gathering, she began her fatal drive downhill and ploughed into the crowd, killing the eight innocent victims. After her arrest, Olga was eerily calm. During the investigation, she confirmed her intention was to kill as many people as possible, to take revenge on the society that had made her feel like a stranger for being strange. Psychology experts found her fully aware of her actions and she expressed no regret. In a written statement, which she sent to two newspapers, she wrote the following words. I am a loner, a destroyed woman, a woman destroyed by people. I have a choice to kill myself or to kill others. I choose to pay back my haters. It would be too easy to leave this world as an unknown suicide victim. Society is too indifferent. My verdict is, I, Olga Hepnerova, the victim of your bestiality, sentence you to death. The city court, however, decided to return the favour. And on the 6th of April, 1974, Olga Hepnerova was sentenced to death by hanging in the infamous Pankrak prison. After the sentence was handed down, Olga allegedly displayed no emotion and claimed she was not afraid to die. However, on the actual day of her execution, 12th of March 1975, Olga reportedly became hysterical and had to be dragged to the scaffold. She was the last woman to be executed in Czechoslovakia. So, what are your thoughts on the Olga Hebnerova case? If she had been alive today, could her mental illness have been diagnosed and treated? Would today's society be kinder to a girl who's different? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have any suggestions which interesting person I should feature in the next video, please let me know in the comments. Um, feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and goodbye.